4.30 in the morning on Saturday and I am off to Scotland so I've got going to Gretna Green Services in Scotland to collect a car it's all very exciting it's a little, um, little racing car but I'll tell you a little bit more when I get up um, firstly I need a coffee and then we'll hit the road it's still dark um, and yeah, keep you updated some way up A good father that will come with you all the way to Gretna Green to pick up a racing car. <laughs> Right, so we've got to Gretna Green Services, We're just filling up before the other chap gets here um, with the car. So it took us about three and a half hours to get here. Um, whilst I'm on here now, I need you to go and subscribe. Go down to the bottom, go and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be doing loads more in this car. We're going to be doing track days. I'm not giving you too much away, but we're doing track days. We're going to be doing loads of stuff. It's all going to be sign written. It's all going to be super, super cool. And I'm going to try and get into some racing. So whilst we fill up, we're just going to do that, grab a coffee, wait for the chat, and then we'll show you the car. The fuel in Scotland, how much is it? 195. 195 for diesel. Bloody hell. What's the world coming to? So we've come up in my old man's Range Rover Sport because uh, my Range Rover, I took the tow hook off it because I think they look rubbish and it's not one of the electric ones. This one has an electric tow hook. So we're going to see how good that is because I don't think it's done much towing before. And also the old man drove all the way up here. So that's good. But he's just told me I've got to put the 105 quid's worth of fuel in it. I've just bought a Caterham. My first little race car. Here it is, little Caterham. I'll show you all around it when I get home. Just going to hook it up to the Range Rover now. And then off we go, back home got 200 and however many miles 270 miles home with my new little caterer excuse my squinting but yeah i'll uh, walk you all around it when i get back and do a proper proper film on it so we're on our way back we're in the car we've got we've been going for about an hour we've done about 70 odd miles we're doing about 65 miles an hour 75 miles an hour what North of Preston, we're just north of Preston, um, and we've got the Caterham on the back. It's doing, you know, we not even know the Range Rover is doing a fantastic job. Um, so yeah, we're just sort of moseying on back now and then get back. Um, car's booked in for an MOT tomorrow, it was going to be today, but couldn't get it in today because it's going to take too long to get back. But I've got it booked in for tomorrow morning, which is Sunday. Um, but I've got a friend that said he'd open up his garage and do my MOT at Portbury service station, and um, yeah, we'll see how the old girl is when we get back. So morning all, this is second day. So this morning I came down, unwrapped the old girl, and I've had a bit of a look round it. So there's a few things that I'm gonna do to it. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna do a whole Motorflix wrap on it. I'm gonna go through all of the designing of that, and it's all gonna be sort of, uh, it's gonna be white and red, obviously, because of my colors. And then there's a load of other stuff that I want to do. So I'm gonna take the whole cage off. I'm gonna get the cage completely repowder coated. I'm going to have the wheels all done. I've got obviously other sets of wheels on the trailer as well. And then I'm going to have all the suspension repainted, repowder coated, redone. Uh, just a little bit of surface rust here and there that just really plays with my OCD. 
Um, I've been in it this morning. I've given it a good wash because it's sort of got that garage sort of scum all over it, which I've just I've just got rid of that. And then I'm going to change the seat. I need another tillet seat. If anyone's got a tillet seat they want to sell me, then please do sell me one because it's got the original custom seat from the chat before, and he's a lot taller than me. I'm only five foot knee high to a grasshopper, and he is um, he was six foot one. So when I drove it yesterday to the MOT centre which is being MOT today. So I got lost and had to come home. And it was it was a thing, I've got, to, I've got to do that again. So I've got to go and drive it to the MOT center in a bit. Um, and when I did that, I, I realized that I basically can't see over the aero screen. So I need to get that sorted. Other than that, she's an absolute honey. The engine is brilliant. The 1.6 liter K series engine in it is just fantastic. 125 horsepower on the road, something that weighs basically about half a ton, is just the perfect amount of power for the UK roads. So I'm going to um, take it out this afternoon. It's got an MOT booked in for 11.30 this morning. Yeah, it's um, carry on the journey. So Carl's just had its MOT. Um, there she is. Just had its MOT and then I've left Bristol and gone out up to uh, up the Usk Road, all the way up to Ab Abergavenny, nearly Abergavenny anyway, up to Baffle House, Baffle Culture. Super cool place. If you haven't been here before, come up here. I met up with a friend of mine in his superb PTS GT4. Look at that, that is absolutely beauty. It sounds incredible. I can even hear it over the catering with a helmet on. So first journey out in the old catering, she's Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, and we've got to go obviously all the way back, but I had to go out and get something done on the first day of ownership. <laughs> 